This is video uh, number 46 in our series um, Electrical Circuit Analysis. A reminder that the uh, playlist for all the videos is featured at the website digital-university.org. Okay, in this video, here's the circuit we want to consider. We have a voltage source of 24 volts at the very left end of the circuit and a current source of 18 amps at the very right end of the circuit and then we have all these resistors in between 6, 3, 4, 6, 1 and 2 ohms. We want to determine what is the current flow through the 4 ohm resistor. So what we're going to do is kind of split the problem up into two parts. For the first portion, we're just going to ignore the current source and then doing that to see if we can determine what is the current flow through this resistor due to this voltage source. And then for the second part of the problem, we'll just ignore this voltage source, just draw a line right through it as if it's not there and to see if we can determine what is the current flow through this resistor from the current source and then finally at the end just add the two results together to determine the total current flow through this resistor that would be due to the voltage source and the current source acting together. So let's get started by ignoring the current source. If we do that then the circuit would just look like this, which we have drawn right here. Now, clearly these two resistors, the 1 and the 2, these are in series with each other. So let's just redraw this. A total of 3 ohms. And these two parallel resistors now will have an equivalent resistance. Of just 2 ohms. This times this is 18 divided by this plus this is 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. So we're going to have a 2 ohm resistor that's going to be in series with the 4 ohm resistor. So let's draw it like this. I'm going to redraw this real quick. Our voltage source. The 6 ohm resistor. The 3 ohm resistor. Then we have the 4 ohm and the 2 ohm resistor. and this is 24 volts. And obviously the 4 ohms and the 2 ohm resistors are in series. Let's just go ahead and redraw this real quick just to show this better. So again the voltage source, the 6 ohm resistor, the 3 ohm resistor, And then we have the 4 ohm resistor and the 2 ohm resistor, like this. So we look at this and we can see this obviously is a total of 6 ohms in parallel with the 3 ohm resistor. Again, that gives us an equivalent. Of 2 ohms. So let's just quickly redraw this. This is, has a polarity like this. Try to keep it in focus as we move along. Here is the voltage source. Six ohms and two ohms.
the voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistor uh, using the voltage divider principle. I think we discussed that in the very uh, first video. That's equal to just the value of that resistor divided by the total resistance 8 times the voltage source. And 8 goes into 24 or 3 times so that's 6 volts. So the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor is 24 volts. Remember this 2 ohm resistor, just back up a step now, this 2 ohm resistor is the equivalent of this parallel combination. So that means that the voltage drop across here is 6 volts and the voltage drop across here is 6 volts. This branch right here has a total resistance of 6 ohms, so the current that's going to flow down here, 6 volts divided by 6 ohms, is 1 amp. So the 4 ohm resistor has 1 amp of current going downward. Now if we just back up a step, that means then that here the current is going like this. So what we have right now then is the current that goes through the 4 ohm resistor resulting from this voltage source we have 1 amp and it's going to the right. So we're going to have to re erase this to get to the uh, to consider the second part of the problem. So remember, so far what we have, the current going through the 4 ohm resistor is 1 amp going to the right. Now, we want to do for the second part of the problem, go back to our circuit. Now we want to remove the voltage source. Now when we, when we move the current source, what we do is we just leave it open-ended. In other words, this and this are cut out. So that just leaves an open circuit here. So it effectively, we have a circuit like this. Here now, for the voltage source, the way that's removed, as we discussed in the previous videos, you just draw a line through here and pretend like it doesn't even exist. So let's do that. Let's redraw this. We keep this. We keep all of this. And then for here, we're just going to have a line going through. Now, pretend that, that that is the situation. That here then, this just simply is a line that goes through with no voltage source there. Obviously then, this 6 ohm resistor is going to be in parallel with the 3 ohm resistor. So let's draw it like that. Here what we're going to have on the right hand end we have the current source that's 18 amps. Then going out from there we have the 2 ohm resistor and then the 1 ohm resistor The 6 ohm resistor, that's the 4 ohm resistor, and then we have 3 ohm resistor, and in parallel with that, the 6 ohm resistor. So we have 2, 1, 6, 4, 3, 6, this is 18 amps. Let's just check that. Here is our original circuit. This is removed. This and this are in parallel, obviously. And here they are. Then 4, 6, 4, 6, 1, 2, and our current source, which goes like this. Okay, now here we want to determine what is the current going through the uh, 4 ohm resistor. 
Okay, clearly these two come are in parallel and the equivalent again is two ohms. Six times three divided by six plus three. Eighteen divided by nine is two. So let's just have it like this. Except this is two ohms now. So here's our circuit, so far anyway. Uh, let's see, do we have it in focus? Yes, okay. Now what we have to do is, we look at this, look what we have. This right now is in parallel with this resistor, but it's also in parallel with the current source. Remember what we did, I think it was back in video number 22, when we considered how we could interchange current sources. That is that we can replace this with a voltage source where this is in series with a voltage source. And how, what is the magnitude of the voltage source? It's just this times this. So this circuit we can redraw having the two ohms up here and having a voltage source of 36 volts right here. And again, if you're not clear as to why that's true, go back and look in video number 22 where we did different types of um, uh, current and voltage sources and how we can interchange the two. So this part stays the same. This is 2. This is 4. This is 6. 2, 4 ohms, 6 ohms. This we put up here now. We have the 1 ohm. This goes up here. And this is now a voltage source. 1 ohm, 2 ohms, 36 volts. Again, when you have a resistor in parallel with the current source, that is equivalent to having the same resistor in series with a voltage source. The magnitude of that voltage source is this times this. The current times the resistance. And exactly why it works out to be like that, uh, that was our topic of discussion in video number 22 and I think video number 23. Okay, now here, this obviously is a total of 3 ohms. So let's just get rid of this. Change this to 3 ohms. Now, look what we have. This resistor is in series with this voltage source. Here we have a, this resistor here. Well, we can put this in parallel with this one, again, by doing a source transformation. We can convert this to a current source. And the magnitude of that current source is the voltage source divided by the resistance that is in series with it. So, 36 divided by 3, that's 12. So, again, we can do a source transformation. Now we're going to have a current source here of 12 amps. And this, well, let's just get this drawn here. This 3 ohms now is in parallel with the current source. What we're doing right here is just the opposite of what we did right here. And again, this is a topic of discussion back in videos on 22 and 23. So here's 3 ohms. Let's draw the rest of the circuit. Here's going to be 6 ohms. And what else do we have? 4 ohms and 2 ohms. So here's our circuit so far. After doing a few more manipulations, it's now taken this form. And let's see, what do we have? Um, well, obviously, these right here 
uh, are in series. So we would have 6 ohms here in parallel with this. Oh, but before we do that, let's take a look at this. These here are in are parallel resistors, REQ. Again, it's just going to be 9, excuse me, 2 ohms. Again, it's just 6 times 3 divided by 6 plus 3 is 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. So let's just redraw this. Replacing this with its equivalent resistance. So we have 2 ohms. Here we have 6 ohms from this series combination. 6 ohms here, 2 ohms here, and we have a current source of 12 amps. Yes, and this goes upward. This was upward, and in fact this would have a polarity like this. And then when we do the conversion again, going from a voltage source to a current source, it goes up. So here we are here, 12 amps in this direction. Okay, now what we want to know is, we want to know of course, what is the current that goes through here. That's going to be the same thing as the current that goes through here. And that's easy enough to determine, isn't it? I through the 6 ohm resistor is equal to, these are in parallel, so it's equal to, in the numerator, the value of this resistor, 2, divided by the resistors added together, that's 8, times 12. 24 divided by 8 is 3 amps. And this 3 amps is going to be going down like this. Now let's just back up a step. Here then, the 3 amps is in this direction. So what we have determined so far, remember earlier we had a current of 1 amp and that was going in the right direction to the right through the 4 ohm resistor. Now we have 3 amps going through the 4 ohm resistor. That's going to the left. So the net current is going to be 3 minus 1. So that's going to be 2 amps going to the left. So let's go back to our original circuit. Here's the 4 ohm resistor and that will have 2 amps of current going to the left. It had 1 amp of current going to the right and that was due to the voltage source. It had 3 amps of current going to the left due to the current source. Add them together, you have 2 amps going to the left total due to the voltage due to the voltage source and the current source acting together on the circuit. Okay, um, hopefully that was helpful to you. If you want, what we'll do is in the next video, let's look at this very same problem and let's see if we can solve this problem by using nodal analysis. We should also be able to use that technique and see if it gives us the same answer as what we determine in this video uh, using the superposition technique. In this video we're saying the current going through the 4 ohm resistor is 2 amps and it's flowing to the left. Let's analyze the same circuit using nodal analysis and see if we get the same answer. So come back, transfer that video and let's see if we can solve this problem in a different way.